Today I've got the slim fold wallet. Actually, not just today because I've had this wallet for about five years. And I know that because back in 2015, I did an everyday carry video, which I'll link to up here. And in that video, I had the Tyvek version of this wallet. And after a while, the Tyvek did actually show some wear. And I saw that they had this soft shell and I picked it up and I've loved it. And one of the things I love about it and the reason I got it is because hence the name slim fold, it is really thin. I carry my wallet in my front pocket and this wallet, because it's so thin, goes pretty under the radar in your front pocket or back pocket or whatever packet you want to carry this in. And I've loved it for five years, but every so often I thought, well, maybe I'd like a new one, a different color. This is black with orange stitching. I thought maybe I'd like the blue one, but because this wallet showed no wear after five years, I, I really couldn't justify buying a new one until about a month ago when I was getting some pants out of the dryer and I said, what's that lump in the pocket of those pants? And oh my God, I washed my wallet. Surely it's ruined. I have to get a new one now. That was my what I thought. Turns out, if you look at the Slimfold website, not only is the wallet waterproof, but it is machine washable. So not only is this wallet not ruined, but it's actually cleaner and still looks still brand new. And after five years and a run through the washing machine, the wallet, the stitching still is not frayed, both on the outside, on the inside, the money, which went through the washing machine, is a little bit wrinklier but the wallet itself is still brand new. However, I still thought that seemed like a fine excuse, whatever the excuse was, but I think the excuse was, well, why not, to pick up the blue version of it. And I picked up the blue with the orange stitching. I left it wrapped here just so I could show you how it comes. It comes in this plastic wrapping on the back. It has just some basic stuff about the wallet that I'm going to get into here. And I left it wrapped so I could show you that, but let's unwrap it and have a look at the wallet. Now, before I talk about the wallet that I have, let me just talk about some of the other variations these come in. The one that I have is the micro soft shell. There's an even smaller nano soft shell. There's the larger original soft shell, and then there are the micro and original Tyvek variations. The Tyvek also comes in a bunch of different colors and patterns. It was my experience at least five years ago. I can't comment on how it is now that though Tyvek did show some wear, it just kind of got scraped up looking over time. Maybe the newer ones are better as far as that goes. I can't really say but a bunch of options for the Tyvek. The Tyvek is essentially FedEx envelope material and it is not rippable, it's not terrible. I tried, it's just not possible. There are also options for both of these with both RFID blocking and you can get it without that. These are made in the USA, so good American made products. And let's now have a look at the micro soft shell that I have. So let's unwrap this one and have a look at the blue variation. card with some stats there and then the wallet itself just as a color comparison black with orange stitching and blue with orange stitching looking on the inside the way this is designed there are a couple different pockets there is a clear pocket here that you could put a driver's license although realistically it doesn't show the whole driver's license like it would on old school ones where you could say here you go officer here's my driver's license so i keep my driver's license in there but i pull it out and i would hand it to someone if i was going to show it to them the wallet is incredibly lightweight it weighs in at half an ounce so let me show you how i usually load this up there's the two two pockets over here and over there i will put a couple different credit cards mostly a debit card in back my visa card that i usually use more often in front and then my driver's license over here. You could put some more cards in these, they'll hold more. Not a problem, but I don't really have that many credit cards. On the inside, obviously the money would go there. And then in the back here, there are two more pockets. In these pockets, there are two pieces of plastic. And what these pieces of plastic do is they help give the wallet a little bit of rigidity. Not a ton, it's still super flexible in a good way but they give it just a little bit of rigidity. The initial ones didn't have this, so this is a nice addition to the inside of the wallet. You can see those plastic pieces reflecting in there. So I, back here, I usually stick my concealed carry license and my insurance card and an extra credit card that I have. You could I keep some other cards. You, so plenty of things you can put in there and then you can put some money. Their website says this will hold to 10 to 20 credit cards and it holds money, you can see. 
about like that. It's, it's tucked down in there enough that when you close the wallet, it's small and the money does not stick out. So I really like these wallets. As I mentioned, I've had this one for five years and the wear is essentially non-existent even after I washed it. They are machine washable if you're so inclined, if somehow it gets dirty. But these things are just fantastic. This micro soft shell material, you can see here, holds up really well. I like that it has a little bit of texture to it. So when I reach down in my bag that I keep it in, I can feel the texture and I know that there's my wallet. Same with it in my pocket, I can reach in, I can feel my wallet and it has just the right amount of texture to grab it out and it looks really nice. So if you haven't seen these and you like thin wallets, check out the Slim Fold wallet. I will put some links down below to their website. Check one out.